surviving on this tour and not being an alcoholic or a drug user is can be tough at times because I understand why people do drugs now. Um, but uh, yeah, I just kind of get into a routine where I'll wake up, have my coffee, go to the day room for a couple hours, um, check my email, uh, do my yoga exercises, work on music, and then come back to the venue, warm up, stretch some more, and play a show, and then hang out at, uh, during the nighttime. So it, ta it takes about a week for me to kind of dig into the schedule, but uh, after that, you know, I'm, I'm fine. I started getting into yoga like three years ago, and I, uh, I'm taller now just because my posture is better. There was an exercise that uh, Murray, my classical snare drum teacher, taught me where I don't have a pair of sticks, but I can show you guys back there where uh, you just twist on one side, twist on the other, and then bend and go back like that, and that really loosens me up. And yeah, I just kind of have like a stretching regimen that I do before um, that you guys are more than welcome to film. It could get dangerous though, awesome. yeah. Well, apparently the band on the other stage is on their last song, and uh, we're just waiting for them to finish, and then we're on. Uh, I, I have to come in and uh, massage Brooks, and then uh, towel off his forehead, and wipe his sticks clean, uh, make sure there's no sweat on them. Thank you. I really worked up the sweat with that warm up. Thank you. Here we go. Thanks for coming to Drum Pads.